Right. Hey Leo, so I'm doing your guys' read for your separation and um, what I'm doing this time is I'm going to pull a dark mirror card first to kind of see what your person is going through and most likely this is going to be feelings that um, you didn't inflict on this person, just how this person is and what they're kind of experiencing or what they have been experiencing that maybe will help you get some insight as to um, why this person can maybe tap out um, so easily. And then I'm going to clarify um, what whatever card pops out for Leo's person. What is Leo's person going through? What are they experiencing? What is this person experiencing? that Leo is dealing with. Sorry for the background noise, if you guys can hear. I got a house full today. All right, so your person, um, they're coming out with um, today for tomorrow. All right. And I'm going to just read from the book on this because this is a new deck and I just want to be able to get the full potential from it. So today for tomorrow, um, this right here is um, a, an acceptance stage that your person is experiencing. Um, hope is in the process. It's the brick we use to build the future on. So the visual seed, um, mother and daughter, maybe twins or the same person in different times, red hair, black dress, standing at the top of some stairs under the moon in the wind. All right. The sentence that's used with this is, um, I want it some, I want it later gently and going dark. It may seem like a trade off to sacrifice um, the present in order to secure a better future. Um, that's what ants do or to sacrifice the future to enjoy a better present. All right. Um, cicadas do this. Either choice holds a bitter taste. It's like watching a child play. Shouldn't she study? And if she wasn't studying, wouldn't she regret not playing now? You meet a person you are attracted to. Do you go past and let it stay in the fantasy? Or do you make a move and follow it through to the eph ephemeral ending? The endless choice between two regrets between regret and remorse. What if, for once, we turn our back to the dark, we do the unexpected, we shed it like a used dress. We walk by the sea as no one is around and we skinny dip out in the out, out of we skinny dip out our worries. The present and the future are one single intermingled integrated <laughs> connection. Sorry guys. There is no choice um, because the road is only one. What we are today and what we are tomorrow may be different, but it is the same person. So I feel like what this card is representing in your person, um, I almost feel or get the, um, the, um, essence that this is a pretty new connection. All right. And it, I, here's what I feel. I feel like the connection is probably super intense and super deep with this person um that it it may have scared them i'm going to pull cards to clarify this um with tarot so let's just see what's coming out for this person and why this card is here for leo why is this why is this person experiencing this what is going on all right of course the hangman and okay here's this is what i feel all right this connection um i i'm gonna say i feel like it's pretty new um, but already the hangman drops. Okay. Because you guys are in this period of separated, right? You're, you're not with this person right now. Um, this person comes with, um, blockages and I feel, um, personally it's because they are scared of the deep connection, but they, I almost feel like too, it's like too good to be true type of feeling. All right. When it comes to your energy with this person. And I seen somebody comment on my videos the other day saying Leo's have bad luck. I don't know how to respond to that. The only thing I can say is that um, when people are scared of situations, it, it's 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 on them. It's not on you guys. It's nothing that you've done. Um, so I'm just gonna pull to see what the recent past is. 
Wow. Divine couple. Yeah, exactly. You guys have this intense, intense, deep connection. Queen and King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. That's why this person is... That's why this person's embodying this Today for Tomorrow card. So do you walk past something that seems too good to be true? Or do you walk past it? Do you walk past a good thing? Um, I feel like that's what this person has done. Um, essentially, um, they, you guys met connection, super intense, super strong. All right. And it's like this person pulls back. They're um, blocking themselves from happiness. And I feel like it's, it's scared. Yeah. They're scared of losing their singleness. Um, they're scared of um, the connection. They could be like, one of those people that embody this well if i don't um if i don't put love out there then i can't get my heart broken um type of energy we have the king and queen of swords which represents divine masculine and feminine energy so that tells me leo whoever you are dealing with this connection is super deep this person's scared of it uh i i felt that like right when that card came out right when i started reading um this this connection is super deep so what's the current, I'm sorry, how does this person um, truly feel towards Leo? How does this person feel towards Leo? So you're, you, you bring out self-reflection in them. I knew it. I knew all these cards were going to be major arcana. So how do they feel about you? They're, are, they're instantly looking up at the clouds, at God, whoever it is that they um, believe in. And they're questioning you. They're questioning why you are being brought into their life. Okay. Um, so how do they feel about you? You've, um, you've hit them with some uh, um, spiritual awakening. You've hit them with some self-reflection. You've made this person think. I feel, Leo, that you've actually really set a bar for this person when it comes to um, romantic relationships. Okay, this person could feel like um, it's a joke. Not that you're a joke, but they're like, what is the universe trying to set me up for? This is too good to be true. <sighs> with the death card coming out... Um, God, I'm not going to intentionally reverse this card. I don't remember how it dropped, but I almost feel like this person is afraid to start something new because they're afraid of losing you. Like this person, um, I just feel like they're so scared of what is sitting right in front of them because of the loss. Um, but it's like, I feel like this situation's never even got off the ground for it to start, for anybody to even be afraid of loss. So what is their intent to reconcile this? Okay, so after some much, um, <laughs> after some much needed time off from the connection, this person's going to go through and they're thinking, all right, they're thinking about everything right now. They're thinking about what, what if you, what if we go together? What if we don't? What happens? What if this is the, the one once in a lifetime thing? What happens if I let it go? What happens if we come together? What happens if this person breaks my heart? That's what this person's going through. Okay. Um, intent to reconcile. So with the eight of pentacles coming out, I do feel like they do have an intention to work on this with you. So they are going to come through because they recognize that you and them are soulmates. Okay, we have Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. We have the Lover's card coming out now. So this person does recognize the situation. So what are their plans to act? All right, their plans to act. Look at this. We have the Hierophant, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So their intent, look at this is all forward movement. So where they may have pulled back their energy and jerked it back just a little bit uh, prematurely, this person's going to come back around to balance the scales. All right. And Leo, if you are, are still here watching us, it's because you want this to happen too. Okay. But their intent is to come forward. Their intent is to move forward with you and make um, a connection that's more real for you guys with the Hierophant card coming out. This is about um, traditional unions. This is the marriage card. This is that one step up. So this person, they're going to come back. They're going to step up. 
for whoever it is that I'm talking to, um, this, this person's going to step up. They're going to, what I feel is come out of their comfort zone, which is that nine of pentacles and they are going to go for it. So where is the situation going? Where is this going? Okay. So we have the five of pentacles, the 10 of pentacles and the star coming out. All right. So here's where it's, here's where it sits right now. Five of pentacles, Leo, you're not feeling too good about the situation. You're probably crying. You're probably pretty sad. You've probably been upset, but look, it's going to go, it's going to jump by fives all the way to 10. All right. This is a form of wish fulfillment and this is an abundant um, new beginning. Okay. This is where we have the house, the car, the money, um, this is everything coming into a, a alignment. And then we have the star card. All right. This is hopes and dreams, desires, wishes um, to the maximum um, fulfillment with you and this person. All right. So this is where everything is heading. Um, what does the, the next one to three months look like? The near future for Leo and this person. What is this future? All right, so the near future. So it might seem like it's taken off a little bit slow. All right, hang on guys. All right, anyways. Near future one to three months. So <laughs> Here, here's, what I, here's what I feel. I don't feel like you guys are gonna come into union and immediately hop right into marriage, okay? And I feel like Leo, it might leave you feeling a little bit conflicted, all right, within the connection. But what your team is saying is it, over the next three months, all right, there is going to be slow movement, all right. But this person, it's like you kind of have to handle them with those, honey, you know, it's like how, how do you attract, um, what is the, I, I don't know the, the um, I don't know the, what I'm trying to say, but it's like with honey. All right. And your team is just saying to have patience because your patience, your patience with this connection with this person is going to pay off. And I, I won't, uh, um, I won't scream the twin flame union that I feel here, but I know this connection is very, very deep. It's probably started off deep. It probably doesn't do it. it probably, probably, um, surface will never be a word that uh, this connection embodies this is a deep connection all right but it, you want it to go slow don't be con don't be um completely troubled by it going slow because it's going to be balanced when you guys go slow slow and steady wins the race you guys have heard tarot readers say that all right so what is your advice what is leo's advice for this connection All right. A, a lot of worry. Okay, look at. So for those of you who have, I, I feel like some of you um, probably have been completely in the dark uh, when it comes to this connection. Like, you're probably feeling completely robbed. Like, why doesn't anything good ever happen for me? But your team is saying you need to snap out of that mindset. Okay, snap out of it because that's not what this connection is. Um, the universe is most likely aligning you guys. So quit having your tower moment because what's happening is a healing is being um, involved in this situation. All right. Give your person a minute. Um, give their team a minute to wake this person up to see, which is um, all about healing. So l let them heal. Let the connection heal. Don't stress out on, um, on tarot reads. Don't um, overthink anything. All right. Just let the connection heal and mold back to how it's supposed to be. All right, so I'm going to pull just some messages and these are going to be either from your person or your um, spirit guides that you need to hear for Leo. What messages for Leo do we got? All right, so what we got coming out for you. All right. Love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. All will soon clear. That's so fitting. So fitting. All right. Love and respect your loved one's opinions, but remain grounded in your own truth. You are both wise and beautiful souls. Everyone has a piece of the truth. 
So, and I feel like that's, um, you know, if this person's pulled back their energy and didn't say anything, um, just remember to embody love. There's something that goes on in all of us. This person, um, they've probably done a lot to heal on their path. I don't feel like it's a toxic reason why they've pulled back. I feel like they're just scared. All right. But it's all going to come through for you, Leo. All right. Whoever this is resonating with, please let me know you guys. I love you. And, um, I'm just going to be pushing, um, reads out all week. So talk to you guys soon.